In this Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you the three most common ways to display your horizontal footage in a vertical sequence. On the timeline currently is a 4K horizontal clip of myself on a 4K vertical timeline. This is how it will look before any resizing takes place. For the first display option, first make sure your clip is highlighted, and then all you have to do is increase the size of the clip and effect controls until it completely fills out your vertical frame. Pretty easy. If you need to adjust the positioning to center the subject, you can do that as well. Now for display option number two. The first thing we'll want to do is right or double click the clip and scroll down to set to frame size. Now we have the full horizontal video in frame. And technically, this is a display option. But in most cases, you'll want to do something about these empty black spaces. To do this, hold down the option key on Mac Alt key on Windows, and drag your clip upwards to duplicate it. Now while the bottom clip is highlighted, head over to Effect Controls and increase its size until it fills out the entire vertical frame. Somewhere around 180 does the trick for me. Again, this technically is an option as well, but it would be super distracting to watch. So let's blur out the background with the Gaussian blur effect, which we'll drag on to the second clip. And now back in Effect Controls, where we'll increase the blurriness to around 100 and ensure repeat edge pixels is enabled to remove the black edges that appear. Now, last but not least, the third display option. The first thing we're going to do is head up to scale and change it to about 60. Then we're going to duplicate the clip again by holding down option or alt and dragging upwards. But this time we will do it twice. And now we're going to reposition the two duplicates so that there's one at the top and there's one at the bottom while making sure there's no overlapping or gaps in between the three videos. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing, guys. For more short-form vertical content tips and tricks, including infinite loops and export settings, head over to the playlist on the screen now, and I'll see you there.